Welcome back, and the Night God got us, but good thing is, it really didn't. Because we're back. And I was going to show a death in there, actually, when we were resting, and I forgot that they throw you out when you do that. But, uh, we'll do that later. Brave, brave the hero. Is there anything behind the market stalls? The what? The market stalls? No. Even though we don't really get full... It'll be fine for now because, you know... Wait, maybe we can't. It might be too late. Yeah, that's, that, that's what I feared. So... We're going to have to brave it. What's our stamina? Oh. What is that? Said that someone will notice. This game is pretty neat how it thinks about stuff. I mean, it's 33. Yeah. You need 35 or something? I don't I don't remember what you need to get out of here. I used to think you could do it better from the gate. There we go. Hmm. Does I can't... <laughs> well... Mm. Are you looking for Rana's... Yeah, I'll, I know. I mean, I'm not really looking. I'm just trying to get there. Well, I mean, but is that what our character's yeah. attempting to do right there? Yeah, we got to get to the one place that... Oh, God, not you. Please keep... Oh, God. Run. Why do I have to go this way? Because it's taking us away. We made it. Okay, try this again. People be like, why aren't you sneak? Oh, God. Oh, my. Oh, no. Get in there. No, God. Uh. So peaceful. <sighs> the sweet, juicy fruit is gone to move ya. <laughs> and juicy fruit <laughs> gets right through ya. The taste, the taste, the taste is gonna move ya. But the sweet, sacrilegious, juicy fruit <gasps> of the tree is amazingly satisfying and refreshing. And you get a point. As you pick a variety of the sweet-smelling flowers, they seem to glow in your hands. You put them safely away. I take more. And more. It's like the giving tree. <laughs> Chop tree down. <laughs> the meadow lies covered with a blanket of flowers, unusual for this early in the spring. It is warm, even though surrounded by the late snows of winter. The air has the fresh, clean scent of the mountains, accompanied by numerous perfume-like fragrance, fragrances, fragrances, fragrance, fragrances. A large carved stone lies flat on the ground. You feel as though someone gentle was watching over you. You feel that you are safe here. Rick? Who's Rick? And Morty! The large stone appears to be ancient and deliberately placed. Marks carved into the stone almost look like writing. Not close enough. The stone has the words Arana's Peace carved upon the top. There are some runes carved along the side. It reads, If thy will is magic, so shall I share. Open this stone and claim what is there. Okay. In a hole hidden beneath the ancient stone, someone has placed a scroll. 
The scroll vanishes even as you read the magical runes upon it. You now have the knowledge to cast a calm spell. Yay! Blah. <laughs> he really did just fall flat on his face. But the great thing about here, we're back to normal. Well, we, we almost died for lack of stamina now that we're, man, we're full now. Yeah, and our stamina has gone up quite a bit. We actually gained three magic points casting open. Uh, our climbing's at 37. And we know two spells. And everything in this forest can murder us dead. <laughs> so Marta? we don't have any throwing daggers. We just have... We didn't have money at the time. Right. We do have some, but not enough. And we can't afford the chain mail yet because it costs 500 silver. How much silver do we have? 300 and something. So we've got a ways to go. Chirpy chirpy. The late frosts of winter give way to the greenery of spring. There is a crisp smell of cedar in the air. This forest seems to be unusually still and quiet. We've heard that before. Might as well gain sneak, I suppose. <laughs> it looks like you're doing some type of TikTok dance. This must be the town graveyard. What a run-down place. It's certainly creepy here, even during the daylight hours. Oh, was this, like, fire over there? Yeah. It's the mandrake root that if you take it right now, uh, it'll never come back, and you die. <laughs> oh, it's like someone practices knife throwing. Yeah, if we had more than one dagger, it'd be a really good place to do it. The roar of the waterfall fills your ears, and the cold spray dampens your face as you approach. It's like there's something here we're supposed to do at some point in time. A river plunges for, uh, for more than a hundred feet down the face of the cliff. A doorway has been built into the side of the cliff. Yeah, we don't really know what to do here yet, do we? I do. It's a reflection that I have to point out. <laughs> the late frosts of winter give way to the greenery of spring. Okay. I like it when the codename Iceman Submarine comes and smacks into the thing here. <laughs> It's almost like they self-reference. Yeah, there it would be. It must be your imagination. What would a submarine be doing in a fantasy adventure? Perhaps you'd rather be playing Codename Dice Man. It has a submarine. No, I would really rather not. Don't you love that game? No. I got, <laughs> I, I, know. I got my perfect score. Oh, hi there. Hey, it's a source. We should be oh, God. God. Oh Lord! Oh Lord! We we should, but uh, um, um, run! Oh no! Run! <laughs> we should be able to kill things. Yeah, our strength isn't high enough, and you see how much damage it took from us right away. Yeah. Everything over here went up, though. <laughs> Look at our stamina. It went down by, like, ten. Yeah, but we have more stamina. Like, overall. Yeah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> do, do, do. Let's get this now. Oh, you think we can climb? I would hope so. <laughs> Look how much easier that is. He smiles. He's happy. Do, do, how much do. is this worth? What, or the ring? It magic? It's five gold. You carefully bend down and reach into the nest. In the nest, you find a gold ring. You take the ring and move carefully back along the limb. We didn't fall down this time. Made it. Now go back down the tree. Actually, I think it's six, six golds, and I know you get like two healing potions, and we really do need one, but I don't want to use it because they're expensive. And you can steal from her. And if you do, she locks the door and you never can come back. The fragrance of the herbs mingle with some other rag, rather pungent odors as you step into the healer's house. Lovely day, isn't it? My, look at you. 
You're very healthy for an adventure. I've been attacked by a Zorus. You must be <laughs> it new. bit me. I'm dying. What can I do for you? I can sell you potions if you like. I also buy spell components if you're interested in gathering some for me. Don't mind me. I always have so much to do around here. Ask about Woods. Oh, she doesn't know. Ask about the Baron. Poor man. He doesn't have... He hasn't been the same since his son and daughter have been taken from him. Ask about wares. Ask about potions. <laughs> Three. <laughs> of course. I make and sell healing potions, magic potions, Vigo potions, and undead undulant. The potions will cost you 40, 60, 20, and 100 silvers. Let's ask about a bot. It is shaped in gold like a braid of the herb. Alef... Alef... Alefius? Alefius? Or... Uh, or Othalus? Othalus, maybe? Athalus? Othalus? I don't know. With entwined leaves? I yeah, don't, I with don't entwined know. leaves. I don't know how I lost it. I hardly ever take it off. Well, how convenient. Give... Give us, <laughs> give us money and potions, please. Oh, thank you for finding my ring. How I've missed this. Here are six golds and two healing potions for your reward. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so happy to have my ring back. Kiss. Oh, wow, it had a kiss sound. You put the reward away and tell her she is welcome as you leave to avoid being kissed again. <laughs> Come here, Granny needs us sugar. Uh, uh, I don't know what was worse, being eaten by the source or kissed by her. Did it increase your health? That'd be funny if it did. Are you speaking to me? My lord sees no one since the last of his son and daughter. Ah. Uh. Oh, we did that ask about. Son? Yeah. Maybe. The Baronet Baron von Spielberg was a proud young man with the dark hair and eyes of his father, the Baron. He rode off one morning, and his horse returned without him. The horse has been raked by some claws of some large animal. There is still a reward offered for the safe return of the Baronet, but I fear he's dead. That's encouraging. Elsa von Spielberg was a lovely young child with braided brown hair and bright blue eyes like her mother, the Baroness, used to have. A large winged creature flew over the castle walls, grabbed Elsa, and vanished before the gods could fire upon it. We searched everywhere for her, but to no avail. Even the jester... Yorick joined the search for her. The Baron sent out a troop of guards to storm Baba Yaga's hut, but I think their skulls sit atop her fence now. Elsa von Spielberg would be about 18 now. She's probably been in several Disney movies. Oh, God. Well, <laughs> I don't want to get her back then. <laughs> we'll just leave now. The powerful Ogress Baba Yaga is the cause of all the Baron's misfortune. She's a vile creature who knows much magic. The Baron ordered Baba Yaga to leave and she first cursed the graveyard. When he then sent the um, what is it? Baron? Baronial. A baronial guard after her. Only the captain returned to the castle. He spoke the words, Hear me, O oh mighty Baron. You have angered me, and thus you are cursed. All that you value, you shall lose. All that you treasure shall be taken from you. The captain then dissolved into a pool of sticky blackness. Ew. Then an owl swooped down from the sky. 
and they truly realized that they were cursed. <laughs> He's been here ever since. He never leaves. It's like the Hotel California. Once you <laughs> check in, you can never leave. You can check out. You just can never yeah. leave. Come on, weapons master. I need to talk to you just so I can get a point. Come on, buddy. In this run, we don't have to defeat him, do we? No, thank the Lord. Not here to answer your stupid questions. Go talk to Carl the gatekeeper. He talks to anyone about almost anything. I hate you. <laughs> we should ask him all the stupid questions. Like, who's the sheriff? I hate you. I will now murder you. This word, Cedric, what, what's this word you're talking about? If you want to fight, go to the weapons master. Kill. Guard. <laughs> oh! Oh, no! Watch out! As you approach the guard with your weapon, he jumps up and opens the barrack door as he yells for help. Four guards playing cards inside the barrack quickly grab their weapons and overwhelm you. As you are dragged into the castle and down into the dungeon, you realize that was probably not quite the right thing to do. Really? Weapon Master? Is he on the other side of the screen? Weapon Master? Weapon Master? What time of day is it? Maybe he only comes out at their noon. Uh, you know, he comes out up until sun, like, yeah, you should be there. No. <laughs> the Baron sees no one. <laughs> Baba Yaga turned me into a newt. A newt? I got better. <laughs> I can't help you on that. Why don't you ask Carl? Carl's the gatekeeper. He is a good one to answer questions. You can ask one of them about their bald spot and they'll never talk to you again. Oh, there's a weapons master. Oh, excuse me. I am the... Me, me, me. The Baron had the wisdom to recognize greatness when I presented myself. Thus, he made me Weapon Master. Point! <laughs> Isn't that the same word as Shedrick? Yes. <laughs> this might kill us. We better be careful. Are we going to steal something? The castle stable looks like it holds about six horses. They could use some cleaning up. No, we're going to clean for points. You're looking for some work? Good. Come in here and take the rake. Oh, time. I love this sound. Like, it's so much better with the new... <laughs> okay, come over here. The stableman hands you some coins and says, Now you're five silvers richer. Yay. Boom. I like to shadow box just to make myself look good. Let it go. Gosh, it's already midday. Okay. What do we need to get done by the end of the day? <sighs> Nothing, really. Hey, it's that guy. Prefer to Ferdin. The centaur stops raking as you approach. <laughs> the brigands attacked me a few months ago. I'm a strong fighter, and my hooves are deadly, but there were too many of them. <laughs> they nearly killed me. My right leg was broken, and 
There is no pride for a centaur who cannot run. You have any carrots? No. Stay away from me. That carrot is not what you think it is. <laughs> is that a carrot in your pants? No, it's a dagger. For stabbing. Stabby McStabberson. Ree, ree, ree. Oh, I didn't see the text change. I'm sorry. If you had, if it had not been for the unlikely intervention of their leader, I would be dead. <laughs> so their leader is spirit. Mm-hmm. The leader came up while the brigands attacked me and forced them to stop, ordering them not to hurt people from the town. Then, to my amazement, the leader gave me a healing potion and had me carried to the healer's house. It was hard to judge the leader, whose face was obscured by a large helm, but there was compassion unlike a brigand. Something's more than meets the eye here. Mm-hmm. This looks safe. I'm fine. Oh, it's a stag. There it goes. It's like in Narnia. Kind of catch the white stag. They give you a wish. This one just takes you to the dryad. <laughs> <laughs> Mystical music. You follow the stag into the forest corner. You feel as though the eyes of the forest are watching you. The eyes of the forest are upon you. Because <laughs> that's what heroes gotta do. You watch the stag, fascinated with his grace and beauty. There's something special about this place. Can't you need to do something. Keeper of the woods, are you one with the woods? Yeah. Have you been smoking the reefer? It's one of these things, if she asks you if you're a god, you say yes, Ray. <laughs> then you shall aid me, and I shall aid you in your quest. The quest for kings, or glory, or space. Bre or police. <laughs> or Larry, laugh, or sex. Bring me a seed from the spore spitting spiria of the north, that I may plant it elsewhere in order to preserve these rare and magical plants. Thus you will become a true friend of the forest. The forest. Grandmother Willow, what do you mean? <laughs> The stag is startled by your action. Oh. It's like your cats. Don't touch me! Yeah. That didn't do anything. You're not close enough! You have attempted to harm a free creature of the forest. You shall now become a part of the forest. Oh, we become a white stag. <laughs> oh dear, you are staggered by the dryad spell. She appears to enjoy having lots of bucks. Yeah, we won't do that again. That was bad. Now let's see if we can. Mm. Hey, it's a mushroom ring, which is like a fairy ring. Right. Which we need those, so might as well get some. You pick a handful of the smaller mushrooms and carefully put them away in your backpack. Mm. 
You eat a few of the lovely <laughs> mushrooms. Wow. That was pretty wild. It's probably not a good idea to eat so many more than these mushrooms. Look how technicolor everything is. You ingest a few of the mushrooms from the fairy ring. They taste delicious. Wow. Look at all the nice paisley horses. It's a horse of a different color. And not the neon sky. Dead. That's funny. I could have sworn I warned you about eating too many magic mushrooms. Your mind permanently warped. You die a garishly polka-dotted death. Where did all the horses go? <laughs> I've never seen it actually, like, change before. Like, oh, great. Like the... the... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah. We're dead. <laughs> it was a tough battle and you lost. <laughs> like the screen transition? Yes. Portion. Portion? Coach Z? Ha, ah, look at that game. Oh my gosh, that didn't refill my whole health. Oh my gosh, he's beating the shit out of me. Oh my gosh, he's going to still win. Oh, he did. We're just not ready. You're almost ready, but not quite. I guess I'm going to drink both. Come here, bitch. You are dead. You, you, you are dead. Oh boy. Four. Do we have to kill one of each type of thing? No, that's just the fighter. Okay, well, that took a lot. Did we get much out of that? Yes, we did. Okay, so that's how important that is. <laughs> I'll be doing... Okay, we, oh, we can't do this yet, so we'll just go past it. I thought they were going to ambush us for sure. No, I... No. Hey, it's like a chicken wing. Baba Yaga does not welcome strangers. You have to deal with me before you can enter. that? How do we do that? It's not much, but I call it home. Oh. Hmm. The bone brains on top of the fence are Baba Yaga's spies. That's why they have glowing eyes. Hmm? Oh, it's almost like he wants to have glowing eyes. I wish I had some. Hmm. Bargain for eyes? Or just bargain, maybe. <laughs> The other skulls have glowing eyes, but me? No, I don't need lovely glowing eyes. Just open and close the gate. That's all I'm good for. But if you can give me a glowing gem for my eyes, then I'll let you in the gate. Well, is it a deal or isn't it? Um, no. I'm gonna leave. Bye. The deal is made then. A glowing gem in exchange for the opportunity to see Baba Yaga herself. So we can get those chicken legs fried up for me. Oh, Lord. Okay. Okay, get out of here. I'm trying to get a couple... I want to get the dryad part, like, try to get through that before we quit. Because this is a good stopping point so that I can grind. Hmm. 
There we go. So, like, you know, the, the magician can just catch fetch. Yeah. The the fighter throws our rock at it. We just have to stay. And we just climb, but we climbed. Yeah. Because a thief or a fighter can't climb unless you give it climbing. They're just like, me do things. Me kill. Me good kill. Uh, any day now. Put it in this one, please. That's what she said. Okay. <laughs> Did she? Did she really? I don't know. She didn't. Oh my lord. If I was playing this for the first time, I there. wouldn't know if I waited long enough or if it was like, oh, I, I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> you put the seed into your pack and climb down. Like a little did it in it, small. We're almost 150 points. Please, nothing kill me. I probably couldn't kill it. <laughs> Oh, wait, there is a death here. Oh, I didn't know that was a hole. Watch your step. You stepped into a hole whose depth is unfathomable. As you fall ever downward, you feel icy fingers clutching at you, and you think, how could I be so careless? Yeah. <laughs> Dead. I like how the screens all have some type of thing to tell you, like, where you're at. Mm-hmm. What time is it? Crap. I thought it might be. It would be really convenient if it was almost nighttime because of the fairies, because I, I have all those empty bottles now. Yeah. Again, you feel a sense of closeness with nature. Kill stag! <laughs> Chop tree down! <laughs> what a beautiful animal! Cut! Burn forest. Use flame dart. I... Oh, have you brought the seed I requested? Give the seed to me. You drop the seed into the dryad's limbs. Now this will boldly grow where none has grown before. <laughs> heed my now my words, friend of the forest, and heed them well. <laughs> Damn it, Jim. <laughs> I'm a doctor, not a singer. Friend. You must know that there are, or there is an evil in this valley which perverts the ways of nature. The prophecy says that a hero will bring a young human from out of this darkness. If you are the one to accomplish this task, there is a potion to break enchantments, which you must have the healer make. You must gather these ingredients. One, flowers from Arana's peace. Two, Green fur. Three, fairy dust. Four, a magic acorn. Five, and a flying water. Farewell, friend. I must return to my concentration. May the forest forever surround you. Um, I like living in the town. Thank you. <laughs> you see an acorn fall slowly to the ground. Don't forget it. <laughs> That's the only opportunity you have. You pick up the dryad's gift of a magic acorn. We're doing well with the points. Okay, that'll remind me to do that. So, in the next episode, after I grind up stats, we will start, you know, doing the mid-portion of the game. We've kind of done the beginning, you know, where you're looking for a quest. Well, now we have the quests... So the mid portion of the game is doing those quests so that we can get to the end of the game with the brigands. And yeah, we have a lot of quests to do now. Yeah, so we need to get strong enough to be able to deal with it. So uh, in the next episode, we will be strong enough and we will, 
basically be ready to start the midpoint of the game. So this has been Chris from the Gaming Corner with Adam. And as always, we thank you for watching and stay tuned for episode five. Bye, everybody. Bye.